Hey guys, it's Cass. I'm gonna be doing some ink swatching uh, today. I recently ordered a, a shit ton of samples from Van S Pens, and I'm going to be swatching the purplish pink ones that I ordered, which include these. So I've got Detrimentus Document Violet and Silver Purple. Pen BBS Strawberry Milk, which looks disgusting in the sample vial. Uh, Pen BBS Zuzimo, I don't know how you say that. Ferris Wool Press, Little Robinia, and KWZ Brown Pink, which I have actually tried this one before. I remember I didn't like it. Um, I played around with these when I got them a couple days ago, and again, I did not like it. <laughs> so I don't know why I thought it would be any different ordering a second time. Uh, oh yes, and this one, uh, Ackerman Levens Cardinal Pars. So let's get started. How I do this, I write the name of the ink at the top of the page and then I swatch it. And then I write an excerpt from the book Anthem by Ayn Rand. And I've got Diatrementus in the front. So we're gonna be starting with the Diatrementus colors. And those are two purples. I'll just skip this page because I want the two purples to be on the same page. I'll eventually order a blue one, I'm sure. That will go there. Okay, let's start with just document. Violet. And I'm using a glass dip pen I ordered off of Amazon. And you know, I don't know why I dipped this in here. I have a pen inked up with this now that I could just use. <laughs> Me being wasteful. All right, I'm gonna zoom in here. Make sure you can see. Ooh. I'm going to write the excerpt with the pen I have inked up. I mean, it kind of stained my glass pen a little bit, which that'll come off, but it sticks since it's one of those document inks. I think it sticks a little more than just like a regular ink. So I inked up my uh, Delta Unica in matte black for this or with this ink, um, and it has a Franklin Kristoff medium nib. Got an A in there. Oh no. Okay, there's an A that goes there. Thank you. 
Ah, I can't write today. There's so many mistakes in there. Okay, so that is Document Violet, and it is a very pretty color. Um, I don't know if it is good enough, though, for me to buy a bottle of it. Okay, so next up is Diatrementa Silver Purple. Let me clean off my nib, my glass, or the dip pen a little more. I don't know, my nib might, or the glass nib might be, just might be purple from now on. All right, so this is silver purple. It, that is a fitting name. It, is, it looks like a silvery purple. Uh, very, very, very gray purple. Uh, it is a really pretty color, but I won't be buying a bottle of this either. I like it best in the swatch. I don't particularly care for it with the writing. Document Violet, little bit, little bit of a brighter purple. I do like this color better, but I don't know if I like it enough to buy a bottle. And then Silver Purple, which what you're seeing, I would say is fairly accurate. Okay, so up next, we've got Pen BBS. find them. Uh, 
Oh, well, actually, we'll do Ferris wheel press next because I, I found that one first. <laughs> Oh, oh, how convenient. So I've got grape ice pop up here and I've got an empty spot down here for another purple. What luck. So, ooh, let's move that down, down. Okay. So I do really like the color of little Robinia. Robinia. Um, I think it would be too light to like journal with, uh, but I do really like the color. I do like lilac, I don't know why I capped that, I'm gonna need that in a second. I do like really light lilacs, but they're difficult to write with, as you will see. Once it dries though, it's, it, it does dry a little darker. Little. The swatch is going to be really pretty, though, I bet. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> that that does not look like what I'm seeing. This is a very, very pretty light lavender color and that looks gray. Okay, so that, that doesn't look like what it actually looks like. So this may not be the best color to show on here. Just coming up with words. <laughs> So oh, that's a shame that you can't, because that definitely looks really gray. It is not that gray. It, it is a really, really, really lovely color, but it's really light. And I think if I actually had it in a nib or a pen, was writing with like an actual pen, it would, it would be too light to read um, comfortably. So it's really pretty color, but I won't be buying bottle. Definitely, it's a little too light for me. Uh, but here it is compared to Grape Ice Pop, which actually looks quite accurate. Which Grape Ice Pop, obviously, as you can see, is great for writing. It's really dark. It reminds me a little bit of Porce de Lune by Arban. But, I don't know. Yeah, that's too gray. Sorry about that. You can kind of tell the, yeah, that, that's definitely more purple. A lot more lilac-y, lavender-y in real life. So, that is not dry yet. Let me dry that so I can 
Put this on Robin. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that looks bad. Okay, well, that sucks. It's okay. And you know what? I just. Damn it. Oh well. Okay. So that is Ferris Wool Press. Little Robinia. Uh, we'll do Pen BBS next. If I can find it. So I've got strawberry milkshake and Suzimo. Chuzimo? I don't know how you say that. I don't know. And so let's try. I do like this color, but like Little Robinia, it's a little too light for daily writing, I think. Which it looks darker here because this is a glass dip pen. It's wet. It's dumping so much ink onto the page. If I was actually writing with this in a pen, it would probably not be that dark. Unless the pen was just ridiculously wet. Once it dries, though, it's a really pretty color, I think. Like I said, I was playing around with these when I first got them. But I haven't swatched any of them yet. I was inspired to get this color or try it out. I saw this on Creepy Nibs channel and I love that channel and it looked really nice. Um, the swatch he had done or sample or whatever video I watched with it in it. And let's see, that looks a little more pink than what I'm seeing. Just a little bit though. It is, it is kind of pink. It's like a really, really light pink gray. Way more gray than pink though. Yeah, I think my dip pen is permanently stained now from that document violet. And here's strawberry milkshake. It looks like sludge, <laughs> the color. It looks really cool on paper though. Ooh, 
it's wet. I'm interested to see what the swab looks like. Look at the swatch. That is very pretty. So pretty. That is a really, really interesting color. Look at that. It looks a little dark um, to what I'm seeing, but the color itself is pretty accurate. Just a little dark, maybe. A little darker. This is a very, very interesting color. I, I may consider buying a bottle of this. And here's the Chuzimo. It reminds me of a pinker Lady Rose from Ferris Wool Press. Or a pinker Lady, or a Little Robinia. I, I do really like this one. This is a very, very deep color. It has a lot of components. I see pink and gray, like reddish pink and gray, purple. Uh, there's like three or four different colors in here. Strawberry milkshake. Okay. So next up, we've got... Um, KWZ, which I don't think I have KWZ in here. I may have to make a new section. I don't think I do. Yeah. And I don't imagine I'll be... So this is KWZ Brown Pink. Let me clean off my dip pen. Like I said, I have tried this ink before and did not like it. I don't know why. I thought it would be a good idea to order another sample. Watch will be nice though. So. 
I can't make a straight line to save my life. That looks more red on camera. Just a little bit though. Uh, I'd say it's mostly accurate. Maybe a tiny bit more red. Uh, I'd say that's pretty accurate. I think <sighs> this video is so long. <laughs> if you watch through this whole thing, that is crazy. Why would anyone even want to watch this? It's freaking 30 minutes long. Okay. Uh, last one I have is the Cardinal ink from Ackerman. I'm a trappy quick. This one I think was very red. Okay. Uh, Dutch Master. Oh, this name is so long. I'll just do number six.
Okay, so that ends that. I actually made it to 30 minutes. <laughs> so this is Dutch Masters Cardinal Pars. Leavens. I'd say that looks pretty accurate. It's a very, very, very reddish purple. It's a pretty color, but I likely will not be buying a bottle. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Congratulations to you if you actually made it to the end. <laughs> try not to make my video so long, but I guess I shouldn't try to swatch seven inks at once. Uh, and also write excerpts with them. So, thank you for watching. Again, I really um, appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much.